Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm trying to fit myself in my computer. I'm sure I can see that in the mirror. Welcome back to a new vlog. I feel like it's been ages again since I've vlogged. So I've been very busy setting up my website and getting the magazine up and running, which you will know if you've seen uh, last week's video. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will leave a link to the video on the screen. But basically, I have set up my own online magazine. So unfortunately, I've had to put YouTube on a bit of a back burner for a while. But I'm hoping once I manage to kind of like, you know, regulate things a bit better and I'll be able to make YouTube a bit more regular again. But anyway, I thought I'd do a bit of a weekly vlog this week. I don't have tons going on actually. I am going on holiday in a few weeks so I'm now starting to kind of wind down a little bit especially with like socializing um, and things like that because we're gonna put ourselves in a bit of a voluntary lockdown for a week or so um, just in case before we go on holiday. So we're kind of reaching the time where we need to do that now. I'm really excited we're going to Mexico with Dan's family so it's gonna be so nice we've never done like a family trip or anything so very excited um but yeah so I thought I'd do a bit of a weekly vlog this week um today I'm actually going out with one of my friends after work I've, I've had a very social couple of weeks actually I did try to vlog a few days ago but um everything was a bit too hectic so it was a bit kind of jumbled up it wasn't a very good vlog um I went shopping with my mum and sister last weekend I saw three of my friends last week and yeah I've seen the last one tonight so yeah I've been kind of trying to fit everyone in before I go on holiday and um, so I'm very tired I'm actually looking forward to spending a few days inside and just you know recharging my batteries a little bit but yeah so nothing too interesting going on throughout the day today um, I'll probably take you along with me this evening um, we're going out to a restaurant called East 59th I think it's called if you're from Leeds you will you might know where it is but it's in Victoria Gate which is like a, a really mini kind of shopping center it's only got like I don't know maybe 10 stores in there but they've got a couple of restaurants and bars as well so but yeah we're going there which would be really nice and yes yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff to do today actually quite a busy day I've got a lot of magazine things to do I'm probably not going to show you that in too much detail because I think in the future I'd like to do proper work weeks in my life you know show you what I get up to on a daily basis that kind of stuff so I won't go into too much detail today but I do need to post an article today I've got a few articles to finish writing so yeah quite busy so it's about 10 15 now and you will know because these vlog formats never change I'm a creature of habit it's time for a coffee basically so let's go do that I thought I'd show you a quick outfit of the day as well I am wearing this camel jumper which is just amazing and I think I've worn it every single day since I got it at Christmas. I obviously haven't but I do wear it a good few times a week because I just love it and I'm just going to put my coffee down. It was quite an expensive purchase which is why I got it as a Christmas present and I actually got it in the Black Friday sale as well so it was a bit cheaper but it's from Weekend Max Mara and where did I buy it from? I think it was Fenwick where I got mine from but I'll see if I can link it below. I'm not sure whether it's actually sold out now. I think it kind of was reduced permanently in the Black Friday sales and then just sold out but I'll have a look and see if I can find something similar. And then I'm also wearing these navy trousers which are from H&M. They're the ones that everyone raved about. I don't know if they still sell them but they were really popular a couple of years ago and these are quite old as well. And uh, yeah, then just my regular slippers of course. <laughs> Posted today's article. This is 
one item four ways for a crew neck jumper. And now it is lunchtime, but first I've got a couple of packages that I think have been delivered for me today. I've been ordering a few holiday bits and I think I'm going to do like a bit of a collective haul kind of thing maybe at the end of this vlog, just because I'm waiting on a couple of other things as well. So I'm gonna go and get those from downstairs. some soup for lunch, nothing too interesting, unfortunately. Probably have some toast as well. Okay, so work is done with for the day and I'm about to head out, so I thought I'd show you a quick outfit of the day, or outfit of the evening rather. Um, so I've got this like ribbed turtleneck on. <laughs> Probably should have taken the scarf off really, shouldn't I, to show you this. Yeah, just like a really basic ribbed turtleneck, which is from Zara. It's quite old. It actually came with shoulder pads in them, but I'm not really much of a shoulder pad kind of person, so I cut them out. And it still holds a little bit of the shape, but without it being so structured. So it actually looks a little bit more dressy. I'm actually going to show you. Hang on. Okay, that's a bit better. So yeah, it has a little bit of a shape to it on the shoulders. Not a lot. You probably can't even really tell on camera. But yeah, I feel like it can be dressed up ever so slightly. And then I've just got my leather trousers on, which are from Zara. Again, quite old. Same with this belt, just gold leather belt. And then sock boots, which again are old from Zara. Uh, Jewellery. These earrings are from PD Paola. Under the Stories and Shia Rose Jewellery. Happy Friday. I've not vlogged in a couple of days because there's just not really been anything interesting to vlog about. I've just been doing my work from home and that's it. But it's Friday today, obviously at the end of the week and I've got quite a busy day ahead of me actually. So we go on holiday next Friday and we're leaving here on the Thursday. We're staying in a hotel overnight so we're near to the airport. So I need to have all of my work finished for the mode report for next Thursday, which is ambitious, I would say. Uh, because basically what I'm doing is working to having content done a month in advance. So at the start of February, I was working on all of March's content and now we're at the end of February, it's time to think about April. But because I'm on holiday for the first week of March, I'm losing quite a big chunk of time for getting the content done. So today I need to figure out the logistics of how I'm gonna get everything done for the month of April, which is probably gonna be quite tricky. And um, so yeah, that is what today is going to look like, as well as a couple of other like random jobs as well. But I'm kind of trying to prepare myself and not really doing a lot next week as well, because we are away for quite a long time. This is the longest holiday that I've gone on for a few years actually. We've we've mainly done city breaks over the past few years, but we're going on holiday for like an actual week. And then we've got a day or so traveling as well. So it's like nine days in total. So I've got to do packing, got to sort of, you know, clean the house, all that stuff. Like there's a million things to do before we go. So I don't think I'm gonna have as much time in the evenings and on my break at work and stuff to get my usual amount of content done throughout the week. But we do have the weekend as well. We're not really doing anything this weekend. So I've got all day tomorrow and Sunday if I need it as well. I'd rather not. I like to have at least 
one day completely off at the weekend because I do have a lot to do like most weeks um but yeah I think that's about it so for now I'm gonna obviously go and make a coffee before I can properly start thinking about this stuff and been working for a couple of hours at my actual job as well so I'm ready for like a little bit of a break get myself a coffee I've also got a delivery coming this morning as well for some exciting beauty things oh, I love love a beauty delivery love beauty I'm such a junkie for it so anyway yeah hopefully that should be coming soon but anyway I'm gonna stop rambling so I've got so many things to do and I'm gonna go make a coffee It's about six o'clock now and the work week is done. Thank God. Had quite a productive day actually. Got all of April's content all planned out and I've still got quite a bit to do tomorrow and probably Sunday as well as into next week but I'm all organised which is the main thing. So as for the rest of this evening I've got my even more comfy than earlier clothes on and we're gonna order a pizza and I'm gonna do my nice little Friday skincare pamper evening which I'm very excited about so that's it from me this evening and I'll see you guys tomorrow Happy Saturday. I've just done a Pilates yoga kind of workout this morning and oh my god, it was really hard. I've been going to the gym quite a bit more recently, so I thought I, re I reckon I'm going to be all right at this. I don't think it's going to be as challenging as it used to be, but I was very wrong. It was very difficult, but glad that's over now. So yeah, I've got quite a lot of work to do today. I've sort of scheduled it all out so I can just spend like most of the day getting that done. But I'm gonna get showered now and crack on with my day because we've got a lot to get through. This is what I'm wearing today. I've gone for a few more sort of summery, springy summer colors because I've just had enough of wearing like jumpers and wintry things now. So I'm just wearing this jumper which is from Sana New York. Um, it's such a nice like oatmeal-y kind of colour. I've just got my usual jewellery on. And then these white jeans which are from Under the Stories. I've had these for 
maybe about a year now actually i was thinking it was longer than that but yeah i got these last year but they bring them back every year so i will link those in the description so i've done some work this morning took ages i was trying to have like a bit of a digital clear out and make a few versions of thumbnails for articles that i have on the website so i wanted to convert them to pinterest pins stories um instagram posts just really like mundane stuff but um it's just something that is quite handy to have so i've been doing that this morning and just having a coffee now and then in a little bit once i've had this coffee i'm gonna show you a little haul of things that i've got for my holiday because i'm quite excited to show you that i've got i'm gonna have a coffee and then we'll get into the haul okay so as promised i will show you some of the things that i've been picking up for my holiday i hope the lighting's okay because the sun's kind of going in and out and i'm sat by the window but i'm sure it'll be fine so i've got mainly uh clothes to show you a couple of accessories and then some beauty bits as well and i've got one quite big purchase which shall i leave that to the end or should i do that now no i'll do that now i'll keep this haul until the end of the video so I'll, I'll show you the the big one first okay so i decided to treat myself because i've worked hard get my magazine up and running and i just yeah i just decided to treat myself basically <laughs> and um so i got from harvey nichols by the way oh, sun's getting really bright now just some about to film so last year i got the loewe basket bag and i sent it back because it was very shabby it looked i don't think you could really claim it as faulty but it had bits of like straw coming off it the wicker was like almost yellow it was really it just didn't look good quality at all, especially considering how expensive the Loewe basket bag is. It's ridiculously expensive for what it is. You're essentially paying for the leather logo and the straps. So I sent it back and it wasn't a fake or anything. I bought it from, I think it was like Matches Fashion or somewhere like that. But I really liked the bag and I feel like everyone who I saw wearing it, it always looked so different to what the one I ordered looked like. So I spent all summer thinking about it last year. So I thought this year I'm going to try it again. And if it arrives and it looks tatty or whatever, then I'll just I'll let it go. I'll send it back and I'll, I'll let that dream go. It's, it's not happening. Um, so yeah, I ordered it again this year. And I was going to get it sort of in the summertime, but because I'm going on holiday, I thought I'm, I'm going to get it now. So I ordered it again and it is in really good condition. It looks much better this time. So yeah, let me, let me show you. I'm sure you know what this bag looks like. Everyone and their mother has it on Instagram. But I got the medium because I thought this size would suit me better with me being quite tall i do like the small one and obviously that's cheaper as well but yeah i think the the medium just looks better on me so yeah just got the leather strap and the little low heavy sign on the front doesn't have a clasp on the inside or anything but you get this dust bag which i will keep all of my personal possessions in it's actually massive it's a really big dust bag might use a different one but yeah this was my treat to myself for starting my magazine and yeah i just i really wanted it so here we are took the plunge and i did it so yeah that's the most exciting one that i was going to show you uh i'll show you the shoes that i got so i got these in the net porte sale this feels, it feels like a very bougie start to a haul it's not intended to be um yeah i got these in the sale actually and um, i was really scouting around for just a pair of like nude sandals but because of the time of year it is actually really hard to find a lot of summer stuff at the moment but one of the plus sides to that is that most of the summer things you'll come across are in the sale uh, like these were so these are from the brand ancient greek sandals and they are essentially just a pair of nude tie up sandals so these are what they look like they're just like oh, the box. 
these are what they look like. They're just like a, a thong sort of toe with little lace-ups. But I felt like these would just be a really nice addition to my wardrobe. I don't really have anything like this, but they're so minimal that they, they really do go with anything. Like they're quite casual. You can still wear them for dressing up, like especially on holiday. Um, but they just go so seamlessly with basically anything, you know, shorts, jeans, skirts, dresses, anything you want because they're they're nude they've got the kind of like delicate lace like they they just go really well with things so i thought these would be a very good addition to my wardrobe and they feel like such nice quality as well like really really nice um, and i think i read on the on the box maybe or something that the more you wear these the leather um gets a bit darker as well just because i don't know i guess you wear them in so that's that's quite cool as well next up we have, let me show you. So I got a couple of bits from Zara right at the beginning of the year because they were having their summer sale. And the bits that I got are just like really kind of basic summer items. And um, I don't think they'll be in stock anymore on Zara, but you can get this kind of thing anywhere. So the first one is just a white dress. I'm not gonna try anything on because I'm very pale and cold and I don't want to. So the first one is just this dress. So it's just a white midi, little bit of panelling, like a tiered kind of dress. You got some detail at the bottom there and then it just ties at the back. So I didn't really have anything like that in my wardrobe so I thought that'd be a good purchase. And then the second one was just very basic, just a pair of denim shorts. And then sticking with basics, I got a couple of tank tops from Weekday. These are the Stella tank tops, but I'll, I'll leave a link to everything in the bio. So the first one is just in this like beigey colour, and then the same one, but in just light grey colour. And then the next one is not a particularly summery piece, but I'm going to wear this, I think, over a bikini, and then in the evening if it's a little bit cooler as well. Uh, but I got this green striped shirt. And this is from a brand called Selected Femme. And they they do menswear as well, but I think it's called Selected Hom, I think. And Dan gets a lot of stuff from there and it's always like really nice quality. So I thought I'd give this a try because Arquette did basically an identical shirt a couple of years ago, just like a green striped one. And they don't sell it anymore and I really wanted it. So when I found this, I was very happy. I imagine it's gonna be really, really hot there and it'll burn very easily. So I thought maybe having a layer that's quite light was maybe quite smart. So yeah, got that. And then the last clothing item I have to show you is this skirt from Massimo Duty. I got this in the sale as well. It's basically just like a mosaic print skirt with this little wrap kind of detail thing at the front there. It's also got a slit in it at the bottom, which you probably can't see. Go quite nice with like a white t-shirt and you can obviously dress it up quite a lot for the evening as well. And um, so I picked that up. Okay, and then the last few bits now are beauty. So we have just some very standard stuff. Dove moisturizer, smells like coconut. It's lovely and it just reminds me of holidays. So I had to pick up some of that. Sun cream, again. Just, just gonna smell it because oh, I love, I love the smell of sun cream. Does anyone else just oh, love it? It's just a Garnier one, Factor 50 because, because Factor 50. Then some fake tan before I go because I'm so pale. Oh, just the. Bondi Sands dark one. I'm not gonna wear loads. I think I'm just gonna go with like a base layer um, just, just to kind of look a little bit more human. Um, I'm gonna use some of that, probably take it with me as well. And La Roche-Posay sun cream, Factor 50, again, for your face, very important. I've got a couple of face masks as well. Um, for the plane, I've got, I think you can take a face mask on a plane. I imagine it goes by the same rule of it has to be less than 100 mil because it's liquid. This is 21 mil. I think this should be fine. I better check before I go, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, yeah, just a body shop drops of youth sheet mask. 
and then patchology eye masks this one's for the way home because we travel at night and these are restoring night eye gels so i thought that'd be quite nice um and then the last couple of bits these are kind of i needed replacements for this stuff anyway so it's not all to take with me and um, i don't think i'll take this with me but this is the way scalp and body scrub oh my god it smells so good it smells really really nice Oh, it just it smells like a spa. I can't really describe it in any other way But it's it's lovely, but I thought this would be very handy because Just to scrub away any sunburn or well, not scrub away sunburn. That sounds painful, doesn't it? But you know what I mean and then I've got the Caudalie Beauty Elixir as well just the mini one so it can go in my bag but just to freshen up hydrate all that good stuff and um, so yeah that is pretty much it i know that seems like a lot of stuff that i've got there but um a lot of it was for not just for the holiday you know just for the spring summer season anyway and then various beauty top-ups and an investment piece but yeah i've been sort of collecting these since the beginning of the year so it wasn't like one massive shopping spree. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to leave it here because I imagine this video is probably getting quite lengthy now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!